Hello, my name is Nat Ho and you're watching my vlog show. Alright, in the previous vlog, I asked some of you to ask me questions and you guys did. So, here are the questions. Angela144 says, So, I was wondering, when do you think your career actually started? I think my career actually started once I made a decision to be in the entertainment industry. You know, being Singaporean, we are very practical. So when I was uh, much younger, um, when people ask me what do you want to be when you grow up, I would tell them I, I want to be a teacher or a psychologist because, you know, that was just a more practical uh, um, kind of profession. I was afraid to tell people that I wanted to be a singer because um, I was scared they would laugh at me. So um, anyway, when American Idol came out, I was like, wow, this is awesome. I hope they bring this to Singapore. And then Singapore Idol came out and, um, and I took part in it and got to the top 30. Now, I don't really like to talk about this because uh, um, it, was, it was very bad for me. I was young and inexperienced and I chose the wrong song uh, and, and it was just generally not an easy time for me. Um, but I grew up very fast. Um, I, I had to learn to take all of this in my stride and on hindsight, I think it was really good training for me, you know, um, uh, having to deal with the public uh, uh, along with the criticism also that sometimes comes with it and all this is really a part of growing up in the media and entertainment so um, no regrets so anyway yeah uh, back to the topic uh, so I joined Singapore Idol uh, made it to top 30 and then after that I did um, I modeled for about I, I did modeling and freelance uh, gigs for about uh, one and a half years after which the local TV station actually came to look for me and uh, I signed with them and the rest, as they say, is uh, history, I guess. Um, I was with the local TV station for about four years and I left um, in 2010, yeah, about one and a half years ago, mid of 2010, um, to, to, I left the station and, uh, and basically I wanted to go back to what I originally started out wanting to do, which is to sing. So uh, one and a half years on, here I am now, uh, I've been working really hard on, on my music, which is not released yet, but soon, we'll get to that later. So yeah, does that answer your question? Uh, okay, Stella BQ asks, even though a private sector job paid you better, why have you chosen to stay in this career? Um, by private sector job, I think uh, maybe you're referring to a corporate job. Um, well, for me, I can't, I can't uh, do a job just for the money. You know, I have to do a job because I like it. And um, as mentioned before, um, back when I back when I did Singapore Idol, you know. Uh, it was a crazy decision to do it, but at the same time, I didn't want to take the usual uh, route where I go and study, get a degree, go and do a corporate job and work behind a desk for like, what, 20 years? And then I look back and go, what if? What if I had joined the competition? What if I had tried to, you know, be in the industry? And, you know, what if, what if, what if? And I realized in life, it's the what ifs that really killed you and I didn't want to live with those regrets so I joined and yeah here I am so so back to your question you know even though a corporate job may pay better um, I choose to be in entertainment even though it's really tough in Singapore um, simply because I like it I like I like doing this and you know I think as long as you're doing a job that you like eventually the money will come. I think the most important thing right now is for me to just focus on my craft and uh, keep improving myself and keep trying to get better at what it is that I do. So, yeah. Okay, 21 Xiaolin says, Hey Nat, are you gonna act in any dramas lately? Um, no. 
I haven't been acting in a lot of dramas lately um, because of the time commitment needed. Normally when we do a, a, a drama, it takes about, on average, about two months. And they're really long hours. Uh, so what I have been doing is um, going back for like guest episodes and all that because the time commitment required for that is a lot lesser. You know, I can I can shoot I can go and shoot for about two or three days and and that's and that's about it. You know, so that's about all the time I can afford right now because the rest of the time I have to I have to uh, uh, put into my music and you know meetings with different people and and all that. Um, and because I'm doing it. Uh, mostly on my own, as in I chose not to sign with any management company. So as a result, I have to do a lot of things myself as well. But I think it's you know it's, it's been an incredible learning experience, and I don't regret it at all. Fred Ong CM says, "I was wondering now that you've been away from acting in media corp for almost a year, do you actually miss it? Why or why not?" Um. I don't miss media calls. I miss uh, I miss my friends inside. Uh, but having said that, you know, I I don't I don't miss them as much as I think I would because uh, I still see a lot of them uh, at events and movie premieres, and I still go back to the TV station to to uh, do projects on an ad hoc basis as well now and then. So you know. In a sense, I it it feels like I haven't really left, so I don't miss them as much as I might have. Yeah. Okay, the next one is a tweet from House of Regis, Dave Wong, C Y, and Jelly Bean, and they say, "Give us a shout out on your latest vlog, hehe." <laughs> so here's your shout out. Hi guys. Okay. The next question is from Mountainton and uh, this person says, Hi Ned, can I know what's the average time taken to film and then edit for each of your vlogs? Peace out. Okay, I'm not a professional so it usually takes me a few hours, uh, you know, like the, having the setup and, and having to shoot, shoot myself. I mean, sometimes I have to do multiple takes in order to, you know, make the show as perfect as possible and in the area of editing I'm actually not a professional I learned uh, most of my editing stuff from YouTube so well thank you YouTube and uh, so yeah I'm, I'm really not a professional it takes me some time but it's getting better uh, as in I'm, I'm getting more used to it so so hopefully I don't have to spend so much time on 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 each vlog and hopefully I can come up with more vlogs for you guys okay next one is a tweet again and this is from Nicole Bo Yi, as well as Medium 2. And they both say uh, something like, do a 2012 resolution or how about your new year resolution? Well, for me, I don't really believe in uh, resolutions because I think, you know, if you really want to do something, you should just do it anyway. Uh, it doesn't have to be the start of the new year. It can be like the middle of the year, whatever, you know. Um, just do it because I think one thing to make a new year resolution is uh, is is for procrastinators. It's a great excuse because you know you then have one whole year to to wait until you attempt whatever it is you want to do again. I think that's a huge waste of time. So yeah, no resolutions. Just just be the best person I can be. I guess. Okay, Baby Blur Queen says, Will there be a chance that I can see you face to face instead of being behind the screen? Yes, I'm sure there will be a chance uh, to see me face to face. Um, there are a lot of events uh, going on in Singapore and I, I do uh, uh, turn up for a lot of them. Um, so if you happen to see me on the streets, and you know Singapore is so small. So so if you happen to see me on the streets, just come up and say hi. I don't bite. I'll, 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 I'll just say hi right back to you, okay? And Netball Rocks XOXO says, Oh my god, you're not blonde anymore. Yep, I'm not blonde anymore, and that's because I had to color my hair back to black uh, for one of my jobs. So, so yeah, I'm not blonde anymore. But I'll be going back to blonde when I'm about to release my mini album. So, do watch out for my hair color because once it turns blonde, it means uh, I'm likely to be releasing my mini album really soon. And I've been working really hard on it uh, for the past. Uh, almost one year actually so um, yeah 
I'm really excited about it. I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into it, so I hope you guys will like it eventually. I'll definitely be posting uh, more details uh, on my Twitter and on my YouTube, so uh, uh, be sure to follow or subscribe, and I'll keep you guys updated. So anyway, um, we've come to the end of, of this round of questions. So before I leave, I'd just like to say Happy New Year and have an awesome 2012. Yep. So in the meantime, take care and peace out.